Welcome back to Medr Shemaisa. This week sharing a special story for the yurt side of a Rishaya of Karstir, as he's known by so many, Rishayla. The third of Iyar is his yurt side. Rishayla was a Rebbe in a very small town in Hungary. Karstir was a little shtetl. But his fame spread throughout Hungary and beyond because of his Koach HaBrocha, because of his Ruach HaKodesh, but the source behind all of that was the special avoda that he did feeding hungry Jews. Even though he was a great Talmud Chacham and a person with powerful tefillahs, his special avoda was in devoting all of his powers and abilities to taking care of Jews in need, to feeding them, to helping them feel better. The Minchas Elazar of Munkach was a great posik in Hungary, also a Hasidic Rebbe, and he had heard of Reb Shaila, and his powers, and he wanted to have the opportunity to see him and understand where that came from. One year, on the 7th of Adar, he had the opportunity. The 7th of Adar is the yard site of Rabbi Yitzhak Isaac of Kalev, the first Kalev Rebbe, really the first Hasidic Rebbe in Hungary. Both he and Rabbi went to the Tzion of the Kalev, and afterwards Rabbi made a Suda, a Tish, in which many poor hungry Jews gathered around, he had in front of him a large challah. He made the bracha of hamotzi, but then rather than take a bite, he cut open the challah, and then he reached in to take out from the soft inside of the challah, ran across the room to give that to a Jew who was sitting there, and then started walking back to his seat. The Munkach Rebbe, observing this, corrected him. He said, Nu hefsek. The halacha is that when one person is making the bracha of hamotzi to be motzi other people, he has to take a bite of the bread first before those who are yotzi with his bracha are allowed to eat. So that was what the munkacha was pointing out. The Kalva Rebbe went back to his seat, took a bite, and then explained to the munkacha Rebbe what happened. He said, let me explain to you, Rav. I looked across the table and I saw a Jew who looked so hungry and so weak, and he was staring at the bread with such desire, I realized that this Jew had not eaten for a very long time, and he was overcome with hunger, and I felt that that could be a very dangerous situation. I also noticed that that Jew had no teeth, so I had to take the time to get out parts of the challah that he would be able to eat, because he wouldn't be able to bite into the hard crust. I went first to feed him, and then I went to take a bite myself. I ask you, Rav, is that any less than Govil the Tari? What is Govil the Tari? He was referring to a Gemara, and Allah brought down in Shulchan Aruch, that if a person has animals who depend upon him for their food, he must feed the animals first before he's allowed to eat. They bring down a scenario where a person has already made the bracha of Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz and suddenly remembers that his ox hasn't been fed. He is allowed to tell someone, go get the food ready and bring it to my ox. It's not considered a hefsik, it's not considered an interruption, because that is important to do before going on to eat yourself. You're not allowed to eat until that. He says, is taking care of a Jew who is suffering and in danger and making sure that he has not only food, but the food that he's able to eat any less than that? The Minchas Elazar concluded, he says, I didn't notice that Jew and his state of hunger. And even if I had noticed him, I don't think I would have noticed that he didn't have teeth. That is the uniqueness of Reb Shaila. That's the radar of Reb Shaila. Because he was so attuned to helping people in need, to easing their pain, his antennas were able to pick up and to notice what was wrong with people, what they needed. We all have to try to follow in his footsteps. On a yard site we say, may his merit protect us. But the best and truest way for the merit of a tzaddik to protect us is to try to go in his ways, even if we won't reach his level. The more we focus on what the Torah says, asher yechsar lo, what a person is missing, not just in general, but lo specifically, what that person is specifically missing and needing, and to come out with the best way to help that person, HaKadosh Baruch will help us develop our radar and our antennas to enable us to follow in the footsteps of Rav Shaila. Yogen Aleinu. May everybody have a wonderful Shabbos.